Welcome back to the November 2023. I'm Barbara and we're here on the fourth day of the November prompts. This series is all about unleashing your creativity throughout December and I'm delighted to co-host it with my dear friend Louisa Heinzel. In our videos, you'll discover loads of inspiration, surprises, freebies, and even an exciting giveaway randomly tucked in. So be sure to watch all our episodes as we'll be sharing fresh content four times a week until December 28th, so you won't miss any of the creative excitement. If you've missed any of our previous DFEM Rember videos, you can easily find them in the link below this video. What you can see here is Effie and myself discussing how to best document a dream he had last night about his father and himself. He misses his father and so I wanted to be sure to acknowledge that and comfort him with today's ephemera. Little Effie and I would like to wish you a beautiful good morning. We are ready to go to work on our next prompt. We have fairly concrete plans for this. So our prompt today is clocks and wings. So we're trying to make this dream that little Effie had come to life. Let me show you all the pieces we're planning to work with. So we have printed this page here from my Defemorember kit. I'm going to use two different parts of this as part of the ephemera. And then we also have two beautiful more freebies for you. So one has these gorgeous vintage clocks and the other one has more butterflies. You can find both of these linked below and I have a new page for you with all of my links. So for this and all future videos, and maybe you've already seen it for the past videos in my description box, I have one link where you can find everything concerning Defemorember. It has a playlist, it has a freebies, it has my digital, it has all the information. Of course, it has the prompt list. Everything you would need for Defemorember is there. And that's where you will also find these freebies. I now have a category on Kofi for the Defemorember freebies. So they are all in one spot. So I plan to work on this page right here in my journal. So this was the background that I printed from Louise's kit, Lazy Masterboard. If you go to my playlist and check the video for prompt salvaged birds, you will find the link to Louise's kit under that video. So there's two things I want to make out of this printable. So Effie and I discussed that we want to have a belly band today. So we'll be cutting a strip from this side here to be our belly band. So let's do that first. So it's a little bit taller than my page, but that's fine. I'll just have it sticking out from the top and the bottom a little bit. And then we want to make a journaling card to put into the belly band. So we could either do it upright portrait or we could do it landscape like this. But I think I want to have the full height of the mushroom here. So I'll do it upright. So I'll cut it here. And for the height, I'll cut it there. And then I'm thinking since this looks quite naked like this, why don't we add some white fabric underneath? Because, you know, we're talking about a dream. When I think of a dream, I also think of like white puffy clouds and this kind of symbolizes that. So if we put that behind it, for me, that gives kind of a dream-like character. What, Effie? Oh... I forgot about that. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Let's bring that over and see if that might work even better. 
So I totally forgot I have this fabric snippet roll that I've made in a previous video. You can find that video linked below in the description box as well. So I had some paper snippet rolls and one fabric one. So let's see if this one might work a little better. I think this is a good opportunity to try this. So in that video that I just mentioned, I also show you how I store them by making these painted sticks. I think it's a really fun way to store them. Pretty and functional. So let's see if we put this here. And then this on top. Oh my goodness, the colors are just perfect. I guess that's the advantage if you have a color scheme that you enjoy and if you use a lot of those colors then obviously a lot of your pieces will fit together oh i love this effie that was brilliant thank you so much <laughs> so i want the piece definitely sticking out from the top and the bottom of the page so i'll cut it off here I think I need to make more of these. Now I only have this little piece left. These are so addictive to make and it's so fun to use the scraps. And then for projects like these, it's ready to go. Love that so much. So the next thing I want to do is ink up the edges of the belly band. I'm glad Effie is in a helpful mood today and not a mischievous mood. <laughs> you never know with him what you're going to get. So then we need some clocks to add onto our belly band. We could do one bigger one in the middle. So I'd say either this, this or this one. How about this golden one? So we'll put that one in the middle. And then we could add one on either side mm, or one bigger one on one side and two smaller ones on the other side. Okay, so let me cut a few of these out and then we can think about what would work best size wise. So I have four different sizes cut out. So I want the big one to go in the middle. Then there's a medium sized one here for the bottom and then there's two smaller ones for the top. What do you think Effie, is that okay? All right, we're in business. <laughs> and it would be really cool to have the clock faces shiny because normally they would have glass there obviously. So I'm going to do this with embossing. I'm going to use my embossing dabber and some clear embossing powder. If you don't have any embossing tools, you can also use some glossy varnish or something like glossy accents. Even a glossy Mod Podge would work. So let's move this to the side. If he needs to watch. <laughs> Actually, the smallest one I'll do with my embossing pen because the dauber is going to be too big. So I'll just color in that middle part where the glass would be. So if you do this with varnish or Mod Podge or anything like that, just use a brush. Actually, I'll use that pen for this one as well. I think it's easier. I have the feeling it's drying quickly, so I need to do these now. Whoops, that was a lot. <laughs> For the big one, I think. Mm, actually, that is quite hard. So 
So this one curled quite a bit, but I think we can just bend that back. Okay, so these all have shiny clock faces now. <laughs> That's fun. So let's put these back. And then the clocks obviously need some wings. So we need to find wings that fit to each of the clocks size-wise. I think this big one can have some big wings. Maybe these I think would look pretty cool. And then the smaller ones, I'll just choose different fun wings to go with those. Okay, so I have chosen four sets of wings. I will still ink these up. These black ones are really cool. They were a bit challenging to fussy cut, but it's totally worth it because they look very cool. So what do you think? I think it's fun. Effie, what do you say? Ah, I see. Okay, so Effie wants a little more bling on them because we're talking about a dream. It has to have more like a fantastic feel. Okay, I hear you, Effie. So first I'll ink up all of these wings and then I'll adhere them onto the clock faces. So all my winged clocks are ready. But before I adhere them onto my belly band, I want to sew the belly band onto my fabric snippet roll. You could also just make a paper snippet roll instead of a fabric one. If you don't want to sew, you could just glue some pieces onto either fabric. You don't have to do any sewing. You could just glue fabric onto another strip of fabric. Or you could do the same thing with paper. Many different options to have a fun background like this. So instead of sewing the belly band on, obviously you could just glue it on. So I have this now. As you can see, I've gone around it several times so let's check again what it looks like once we have all of these placed on here i don't know why but i feel like i want to add some sewing right down the middle and i don't want that sewing to be stuck onto my belly band <laughs> i've done that once before with butterflies and i really love the effect so I'm going to again take these to my sewing machine and sew through them, but I'll take you with me to show you. I'm just realizing the really tricky thing is to get the spacing right. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that. So if I have my belly band here, I need to know approximately where these are going to go. Oh my goodness. So the first one is easy. So I'm taking a small straight stitch and I'll just start sewing. I'll put the foot down and just start sewing through my clock. Okay, then I'll keep sewing for a few more stitches. And I guess now I kind of need to know where the next one is going to go. Okay, this, this might go terribly wrong. So I'm just sliding the next one underneath. So these two are attached now. So again, I'll sew a few more stitches. And then we'll add the big clock. Okay, I'm just trying to see where I am here. <laughs> yeah, I think it's okay so far. So, and after a few stitches, we'll add the last one and then we'll do a few more so now I see my spacing is not correct <laughs> yeah I knew this was a risk so these should be farther down that would be fine these two are fine but then this middle one needs to be a lot higher up now wondering if I could just tuck some of that thread underneath by gluing that. And then same thing here on the bottom. This is too far. That would need to be here. Yeah, I'm hoping I can fix that with the way I'm gluing it down. 
Effie, you're absolutely right. I also don't know why I'm making my life so difficult sometimes. <laughs> don't have an answer for you. <laughs> okay, so these two I can just glue down. Those are fine. So this big one needs a little help. <laughs> so I want it to go here. So I will try to just tuck this underneath. Yeah, you never know. That's awesome. And we'll do the same thing with this last one. So that needs to go here. And we'll just tuck this underneath. That was a lot easier than I anticipated. No, Effie, I did not forget about your bling, no worries. So I have my little bling treasure chest here. So Effie, can you help me pick out some bling? Oh, I already see some, that would work. So I have this handy tool in the meantime. I know, and thank you so much for commenting in one of my previous videos where I asked you. So this tool is called a pearl picker and you can find that online or in your craft store. Mine has two different ends, a thicker one and a thinner one. And they are a little bit sticky. So you can easily pick up pearls like this. It's really, really convenient. So I think on this one, these would actually look very nice. The contrast, the golden yellow with that beautiful turquoise. I just don't know the best way to get them off. I guess you need something like tweezers or some kind of a pokey tool. Oh, we could add some blue half circles on top there. Whoops! <laughs> oh my goodness, they're jumping all over the place. Effie, I don't know. I know, I know it works with the colors and everything, and I understand your reasoning for adding bling for the dreamlike character, but I'm not feeling this. I know you want some sort of decoration, I, I get that, but I don't think this is the way to go. I don't know, I'm not feeling it. All right, let's try something else. So Effie, let's try a more grungy style, you know, kind of like we did with the butterfly in front there. I really love that effect. I'm much more into that now. So maybe if we add some of this cheesecloth, at least underneath the middle butterfly, Let's see what that might look like, okay? So thankfully I did not glue the wings down. So if we stuff that underneath. Mm hmm. That gives back kind of like the dreamlike character, you know what I mean? And then we could even try adding some of these threads. These are from fraying the jeans material. Take a few of these. I know, I feel this was your dream and this is your page. So I'll do whatever you think looks best. Okay, I'm just giving you some options. If you really insist on the bling, we'll do the bling, no worries. Effie, what do you think? Do we like this? Oh, you do like it. Okay, so let me glue all these pieces down. I'm happy you like this, Effie. You're also becoming more grungy. <laughs> This looks very dreamlike to me, Effie. What about the others? Do the others need it as well? Or do we want to just have the middle one as like really the central focal point here? You wanna see what it looks like? Okay. I know sometimes it's really hard to know what things look like if you don't actually do them, right? I totally get it, Effie, I'm like that too. Mmm, 
you like that right i think i do too so i think we'll just do the same thing for all of the wings effie okay so i'll do that off camera because that's a bit tedious to watch i think so we decided on cheesecloth under all the wings but the jeans threads are only underneath the middle wings So Effie, I think we're ready to glue the belly band onto the background. I can shorten this up here a little bit. Okay, if next we have to make your journaling card and you know, it's not very stiff at the moment. So my suggestion would be to just take some white cardstock and put it on top. What do you think about that? Okay, you want some cut off corners or well, we can do that. So I have my tag corner cutter template here that I made from packaging and I'll use my bigger corners. You want it cut on all four corners, I understand, Effie. So this is not a tag, it's a card. No, don't worry, I'm not going to cut anything away from your dad. Or you, no, no, don't worry. It's all good, Effie. I'm being careful. So I've inked up the edges and I'll glue this onto the cardstock, leaving a white border. Okay, I'll cut this down to size. Okay, and now we just need to cut those corners as well. I'll just estimate that. Let's just make sure it fits in here. Yeah. Okay, so what else do you want to put on here, Effie? What about the back? Do you want to leave that blank like this for your journaling or do you want to add a little bit of interest on it? Or you want cloud-like images? Oh my goodness. I don't think I can do clouds very well, Effie, but I have another idea. Let me try something, Effie. So I have Distress Oxide Lost Shadow. Alternatively, you could also use some watercolor or even acrylic paint so i'm going to smoosh some on here if you have a spray that would also work you could just spray some here and then i'll take a kind of like a fluffy brush and some water and wet my cardstock and then we can just pick up some of this lost shadow and add it in the area that I added the water to. And maybe that will give us like a cloud-like image. Hmm? You think you could settle for that? You want to mix it with another color. Okay, which one do you want to add? Some speckled egg. Oh, you're my kind of guy, Effie. So let's clean this one off and then we'll add some speckled egg. I'll spray a little bit of water on it. And then let's mix some of that in. I know you want this to be light so that we can still document your dream, right? Totally makes sense, Effie. So once it's dry, let's add some speckled egg on the edges as well. So I'm using my little finger dauber. Okay, so the back is now ready for journaling. What about the front? Do we need anything else on the front? Or you want another clock? Okay. So which one do you want, Effie? Hmm? It's got to be a small one. I also have these two. Okay, you don't want them that small. How about this one then right here? Okay, so I'll cut this one out. I'll find some wings to go with it, Effie. Okay, Effie, so I've cut out the clock, I have inked it up and I've already embossed it. 
so I don't know where to put that let's just put it here for now and I've cut out two different pairs of wings you need to let me know which one you prefer so we have these like that or we have these orange ones you like these because they're more like the ones you saw in your dream okay let's do that then but this time we don't add the cheesecloth right okay i love how we're making a dream come to life that is just so much fun a lot cooler than just writing it down do you ever write down your dreams are we ready to glue that down effie okay you want to try what okay so we'll try adding some twine that's too much okay what i'm not sure if you what you're thinking of and then what oh okay so he wants these dangling down as if it was like a balloon or something oh that's a cute idea is that how you saw it in your dream effie okay so interesting yeah i really like it let's do that <laughs> that's cute so let's ink up the edges on the front here as well here i'm using my walnut stain oh i love that quote effie okay so there's a quote effie wants me to add which is time flies, but memories last forever. Okay, let me see. I'll first add it in pencil. Yeah, I like that. I know it's hard to see, so I'll add it with a black pen instead. So is this a good enough replication of your dream, Effie? All right, so now we can journal about your dream. Effie, may I read your dream to my viewers? Okay, thank you. I think they will appreciate that. So this is Effie's dream. In my dream, I'm with my dad in a magical forest filled with giant mushrooms. In the sky, I see clocks with wings and they fly all around us. My dad tells me time flies, but memories last forever. That means even though time goes by quickly, the special moments we share will stay in my heart forever. Oh, I love that dream, Effie. And it also makes me think about my dad, who I miss very, very much. But I'm so thankful that I have so many beautiful memories that will definitely stay in my heart forever. Thank you so much for sharing this with us, Effie. So this can now fit in here perfectly. Effie, does it need a tab to pull out? I mean, obviously we don't need it, but do we want one? <laughs> Look, we could make one out of the jeans material that we used for the butterfly i have a scrap here let's just see what it looks like see if we like it let's fray the edges i know you miss your dad effie i miss mine too i'm sure a lot of my viewers have loved ones they miss but we keep them alive in our hearts and putting these memories or dreams into a journal like this will help them to stay alive even more. So let's add some cheesecloth in the middle, just like we did butterfly. So we could just fold that over like this. And instead of just gluing it down, why don't we add some eyelets? That could be fun. Or maybe let's glue it down a little bit just to make it easier that it doesn't move so much. So let's take our crocodile and punch two holes. Make sure, ah, see, 
This one needs to be further in. Let's punch two holes and make sure that we are on the fabric on both sides. The fabric usually needs a little bit of help. And then I'll add two copper eyelets. Whoops, I don't know what happened with that one. <laughs> I think the eyelets are, yeah, look, the stems aren't long enough. Ah, this one worked great. So let's try to get the other one out and see if we can do better. It helps to push the fabric down a little bit on the back side. Yep, now it worked. Oh, that's cute. I like it. Effie, we did it. Oh, I love that tab. That is so fun. I'd say that was once again great teamwork, my little buddy. So another prompt. We can cross off our list. Clocks and wings. So you have three days break now through the weekend where you can either catch up if you feel like you're behind already. You could start brainstorming for next week's prompts. You could do your own prompts if you wanted to do this daily. You could look at the comments of the video where we ask for your input for the prompts. It's called something like Defemer Ember, we need your input or something like that. It's in the playlist with the link below. And you could try some of the other prompts that were suggested if you need some inspiration for prompts. Or you just take a rest from Defemer Ember for three days. <laughs> whatever you want to do. So Louisa and I will be back on a Monday, December 11th with the prompt Halloween meets Christmas. Oh my goodness, this one sounds like so much fun. I'll do some brainstorming with Effie to see what we can come up with for that one. So if you haven't seen Louisa's video already, I highly suggest you check that out, which is exactly what I'll be doing right after this video. I cannot wait to see what you do with this prompt. I hope you have a blast. Love you guys. Mwah! Mwah!